Hello, and welcome back to RimWorld. This, uh, I, I just want to throw this out here. Um, this marks a kind of a special episode, I guess. Um, but I have officially, um, bought the DLC. No, not Anomaly. I haven't bought Anomaly. Uh, my budget did not extend to Anomaly. It only extended to, uh, royalty, uh, ideology, and, um, biotech. Since those were all on sale. And I also got a nice return on my taxes, so yay me, I suppose. Um, so, yeah. Those will be in the future. I don't know if I want to do uh, all of them in, like, one solid uh, series. I think I might want to, like, kind of turn one on and then do a series and turn another one on. Although, I don't know. I, I somehow feel like this series is not going to do... I know it's not going to do well for 30 episodes. I know that for sure. Um, but we'll see, you know, like I, I'm, well, we'll see. <laughs> uh, I, I'm happy with, uh, what, with what I've done. I'm, I'm very glad I did like 25 ish episodes before I uploaded anything. Um, because that'll, that'll make someone out there happy. I think that there'll be at least like a, a good handful of people that watch this series through. And I, I do want to make those people happy. And, you know, those are the loyal fans. Um, but I, you know, I want to do other things too. I like to take breaks from things. I mean, this is as good a time as any to talk about this because I'm really just kind of sitting waiting for either a caravan or a raid. I can't really do anything else right now. But um, there's, I'll talk about a couple of things that I want to do. Um, I really do actually want to do a series for Six Ages. Um, the first one at least, and then maybe the second one. I did a small stream for it. Uh, on the hashtag turn-based festival, uh, sorry, turn-based Thursday festival. <laughs> it's a, kind of a mouthful. We have almost 1,500 rays. Thank goodness we are finally on top of, uh, of that. And we're getting some cotton. Some wool, I should say. Not cotton. Cotton something else. Um, so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, we're still making food. We're, I think we're finally kind of turning things back. And that's really nice. Yeah, I want to do a series of six ages. I really enjoyed what I played. I have a series. Um, you know, I think that like people will occasionally request things of me uh, that they might not know I've already played. Um, so things like uh, King of Dragon Pass is something I've played on the channel. And I did a very short series. And uh, I ended it prematurely because it really wasn't getting the numbers. And that was kind of a hard lesson for me. Is that I should really basically just play the game and uh kind of record the whole thing before i upload there's a, it's a double-edged sword i've talked about this before but i might as well talk about it again because uh on one hand it's like yes i can uh get everything kind of put online uh and not worry about analytics too much and i think that uh, that supports like it, it it does a good job to kind of let people know that i am going to actually fulfill my end of um a deal in the sense of like well i i'm publishing a series and i therefore i should actually like finish said series because you know 10 people are going to care um and i mentioned netflix a little while ago and i i feel like i don't need to do that again but you know like there is something to be said about actually finishing what you start so on that on on one hand there is that uh, i am more likely to actually finish a series if i do a bunch of it before I upload. On the other hand, if it's a game that is fairly complicated, like RimWorld, there's a hot, much less... I mean, there's basically... I, I have done this a lot of... I played a lot of this game without much um, assistance from the comments, to put it lightly, which is, uh, you know, like, you can either look at it like, you know, good. That's a good thing, actually. Um, which I wouldn't necessarily blame you for saying something like that. Mad Hunter Pack, huh? What is it? Oh, Boom Rats. I think that's fine. Let's get our nice trio set up. Uh, you know, I I'm sure there's a lot of people out... Well, not a lot of people out there. Let's be real. Let's be actually, you know, on Earth for a moment. There are people out there that would probably uh, 
consider help from comments to be kind of cheating and part of the fun for them is watching someone come to conclusions on their own i'm oh no for real though oh my god galen get out of there oh my god Wow, this is a uh, this isn't good. Who is a good shooter? Does damage have a gun? No, does donkey? Good lord, it really is just uh, down to these three, huh? Ben's gonna die. They're like, oh my god. Clyde is on fire, I think. <gasps> ben is on fire. Please don't die, Ben. For God's sake, put him out. Put him out. <gasps> Fight fire. Christ's sake. He's on fire. Put him out. Put out the fire, Clyde. Clyde, put out the fire. He's going to die. Oh, my God. He, oh, he will not. He refuses to put the fire out. Okay, there we go. Oh, my God. Galen... You got five hours left. Uh, Mark, hold on. Clyde, tend to, uh, donkey tend to Galen, reserved by bug, bust. Where's bust? Oh, he's too far away. He will not make it. What a nightmare. Oh my god. Is Galen okay? Nine hours. Donkey, you have to you have to continue tending to Galen. He's not gonna make it otherwise. I guess Clyde is going to help uh, Ben. Elon's got eight hours. Ben has 17 hours. Well, at least he's good. You know, he's okay right now. Uh, wow. Galen has 17 hours. Okay. Galen's on his feet. Um, he actually stopped taking care of him. Donkey, undraft. Someone please rescue Ben. I cannot believe how nasty that was. Like, uh, I almost lost the, the trio. Sorry, not hunt, tame. I'm gonna tame these uh, dromedaries and then I'm just gonna slaughter them. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Clyde has gotten sick. What? How is that happening? I, I, I thought the whole point of putting together a hospital like this is that they didn't get infections. Where's Ben? Sorry, where's Galen? Galen's up and about. Good lord. Well, that was terrifying. Uh, where where was I? Um, I guess my point is, is I, like, I, I want to do more RimWorld series. 
but also this series is going to be 30 to 40 episodes um by my account so like you know the idea of doing four more series or seasons um I, I just uh, feel like I'd like to do other things as well. I'd like to kind of, you know, come back to it occasionally, do another season. Um, and eventually, once I've done, like, other DLCs that I may have missed, I'd like to do Anomaly. Um, the smart thing for me as a YouTuber would to be to do Anomaly now. I understand this, but, like, I'm, I'm not... Um, I don't know. I don't like to necessarily jump on trends. Um partially because i'm usually disappointed by the results uh trend jumping is sometimes good for analytics but uh sometimes not like the the fact of the matter is is like i um you know youtube algorithm is fickle and it's fickle in a non-intuitive way and so like i at the end of the day would probably ref prefer to watch out like um prioritize my mental health and my mental health when it comes to doing youtube long term really comes down to doing what i want to do or what i feel like doing um and so when it comes to doing series like i could do something like anomaly right um but like if i go and pick up anomaly and like start doing a series um then i'm like then i'm more likely to like watch analytics and you know oh did this actually pay for itself was it actually worth it um, it puts a bit more pressure on, you know, the success or failure of the series. And so, you know, my brain just does a lot of mental backflips that I don't really enjoy. And, uh, and so I end up enjoying doing the series less. And, uh, just overall, it's not very fun for me to, to like care. I know that's a weird thing, but I don't, I don't really enjoy caring about the success of my youtube channel um it's doing fine as far as i'm concerned if i consider this to be a hobby and it is then you know youtube is fun and as long as it's fun then uh i can continue doing it long term um i've played with the idea of like hiring people for like thumbnails and editors and stuff like that but again they just i feel like it just puts more pressure on like the success or failure of content quotation marks content doing a lot of thinking out loud right now but like you know i i'm sure someone out there is interested in like the process of you know what am i even doing right like you do i, I do like 25 uh, episodes of rim world and it's like why for for whomst well for youmst you know i hope you enjoy it Someone needs to clean this room. We'll never do cleaning donkey. Okay, damage. Please clean this room. I need you to clean that room. Anyway, uh, I guess I, all of that to say, I don't really want to do four or five back-to-back -back series of RimWorld, and I don't want to do Anomaly yet. Um, I would like to do some of the other DLCs first. Um, just because they seem fun, they're a bit more roleplay heavy. Biotech seems like a lot of fun. Uh, I actually am very interested in ideology, although, like, you know, conceptually on paper, I wouldn't necessarily be. I, I think that religion is a very strange thing uh, and not very fun or interesting when it comes to a game, unless it's um, handled with a particular sense of flavor. And I think that the, from what I've looked at, the RimWorld ideology DLC does do that only it's your flavor it's one that you detail um very very meticulously i really like uh, religion handled in games like uh, six ages just to come back to that for a second because it's uh handled with a sense of lore and flavor and like there's all of these gods and they all do like you know they 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 have lives almost i really enjoy ideology as a almost a sense of like um soap opera you know like i love i love norse mythology a lot i really love norse mythology um because good lord those gods were vain holy crap like all of them were such bastards <laughs> there's not a single norse god that really comes out looking good as far as i'm concerned oh one advanced component yes heck yeah bud oh 
Oh, buddy. Psychic Soothe Pulsar. That might be good. Oh, Skill Trainer Artistic Plants Shooting. Oh, that's ours. Uh, I wouldn't mind having the shoot the, the plants one. We could get ourselves a long heart joy wire. Brain implant. Wait, what? Brain implant that simulates the brain's pleasure centers. While it dramatically improves the user's mood, the blanket of happiness makes it hard to concentrate on anything real. Eh. Doomsday rocket launcher, huh? Okay. We sell the gold. Um... We sell the elephant tusks. They're not going to buy my meat. That actually is going to make things hard for myself. Uh, I will probably be selling some animals. No steel. No steel. No steel. No steel. No steel. Uh, no steel. I can't freaking believe you, dog. When use broad wave psychic effector, the psychic pulse induces self-satisfying perceptual distortions. This is worth quite a lot, um, and I don't know if I can afford it. Um, let's sell a couple yaks. I would prefer to sell some males, but it looks like I'm actually very flush with females. I only seem to have one male dromedary, one male on the way. Um, oh, I see. I see. It's grouped the males together. My bad. Except it hasn't grouped the... It hasn't grouped the yak, yak males together. That's strange. Okay, so we have um, hmm. We have three males in general. I think I just want to sell one of each I'll try to avoid selling females, but it might just have to happen that way Or sorry, yeah pregnant females. So one male yak one male dromedary one female yak um, One female oh, that's a calf. I don't want to sell a calf um, I don't, I don't want to sell them a pregnant dromedary. That's like two for the price of one and they're not gifts they're, they're not even charging me more or giving me more Um Why don't we just sell the female the 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 calf female? Because then uh, I guess the problem with that is eh, I think it's fine honestly I think it's fine we do have lambs we could sell. The lambs aren't worth as much. We only have one ram uh, to three female ewes. I'm sure someone's... I never remember how to pronounce ew. Is it... How do you pronounce it? You can tell me in the comments, but it won't make a difference because I won't remember. <laughs> So the good news... The, new, the good news here is that I am getting a skill trainer plants. Um, and I am also getting one advanced component. Um, and I'm getting some regular components, and those are actually good, too. Uh, that, this is all, this is all good stuff. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Long range mineral scanner, two advanced components. Okay. Ground penetrating scanner, one advanced component. Okay, okay, that's fine. Ground penetrating scanner, that's fine, right? Um, where's the drill? Moisture pump. Biofuel. Deep drill. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The deep drill does not require advanced components. I was a little bit worried. I thought it was going to uh, soak me. So that's actually good news. That means that um, I should have timed this trade a little bit better so that these components were not sitting out in the rain. 
Uh, that means that I only I'm only short on steel. I'm not short of an advanced component. Very very good news actually. So uh, what we need now is uh, misc long, ground penetrating scanner. We need 150 steel. So that means we need 250 steel, I believe. 250 steel. So we need 250 steel. We we have six. <laughs> we have six steel. The the reason our steel is gone, by the way, is because uh, these turrets get destroyed, and um, our 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 people like automatically rebuild them also i think i did tame one of those dromedaries i'm not really gonna worry about manually um ta uh butchering them or slaughtering them because we're we're gonna be able to do that anyway like i've i think i've set my auto slaughter to be correct uh and so as soon as i tame another dromedary if we exceed the cap at all then um it'll just happen automatically and i'm just gonna let my auto butcher handle things so we need a hot 250 steel. We really need to put a caravan together um, and, and send it to someone. It's a dang shame they didn't have any steel. I don't know if I would have been able to buy it, but uh, you know, I would have sold some extra stuff to make it happen. I was recently watching I don't know how what good form this is right now. I don't I don't know if I care. I was recently watching Sung One uh I think I, I'm sure, I hope I'm pr pronouncing that correctly. Uh their YouTube channel um which I I enjoy quite a lot. Uh and they were talking about how they handle their YouTube channel and it's like they they don't even like have custom thumbnails. I'm like, "Wow, that's really wild." Here I am over here giving a shit. <laughs> and I mean, like, I don't think that, that that is like indicative really of anything. I think, um, I think ProZD's content is, um, the kind of like, obviously they have uh, like ridiculous charisma, um, on camera. I mean, they're literally an actor. So of course they have quite a lot of charisma and so their content is going to do well uh I, I mean if they're good at that they're entertaining and um definitely something that you know crosses my mind a lot is am i entertaining i don't i eh. uh, who could say no one's gonna tell you you're not entertaining actually that's not true plenty of people are gonna line up to tell you you're not entertaining I unfortunately let these boom rats spoil. That sucks. I have enough meat though. I don't think I need more. Plenty of people are going to tell you that you're not entertaining, but that's not necessarily criticism. That's just like shit talk. The, it really hurts if someone you actually trust can tell you, hey, you're not actually very entertaining. Or like you show your content to someone uh, that you think might actually enjoy it and they just kind of, you know, their, their eyes glaze over and they... You know flip to something else basically that, that's a pretty good sign that you're not very uh interesting to watch it, it hurts of course it hurts but like you know a move on um you can improve of course like i you know what what would you do to improve what would i do to improve a series or some kind of game play like you know it's such a bizarre question honestly uh be more entertaining i mean like i think that uh, people who have a lot of charisma are just kind of naturally good at something like that they are just like fun to watch right and um i think that part of that uh, you know obviously comes from like them exerting themselves to be entertaining but also um some of that comes from like them just being fun people in general like you know someone can just be entertaining based on their personality like they have personality and it's just them sitting still in a room vibrating violently is uh entertaining in some sense right so like 
how how you know what i guess what i'm saying is that if i was going to change things if i was going to be more entertaining it would kind of require me to be a different person which is uh well yak one has miscarried due to starvation well, something is still not performing correctly here i really just kind of need ben to prioritize cooking maybe above all all, all other things like let's set doctor to one uh, cooking is set to two. Tame, train, harvest resources from, and slaughter animals. Uh, I guess I'll set to uh, Ben to handle. Maybe that's what's wrong. Like, they'll haul the food over there. I wonder if that's the problem I've been facing. Like... I have a uh, bus Galatra to, to handle animals, but like, are they carrying food over there? Is that something that they're supposed to do? It's an interesting question. Rope roaming animals, feed animals. Oh my God. Handle is includes feeding them. So I didn't need to do all of this. I didn't need to do stockpiles. I just needed to have someone like more people that can handle animals. See, I learn something every day. I enjoy a game that where I learn something every day. It's one of the reasons I enjoy Caves of Cud so much. Even even after like five to six hundred hours of that game, I'm still learning things about it. And of course, it's changing every day. So uh, that helps learning new things, uh, you know. You always have new things to learn when the game gets updated. But also, like, uh, you know, I like this game because uh, the things that you... Like, it's, it's accessible. I can learn things. I don't know how easy it would be for me to learn things in Dwarf Fortress. I don't know how to do that. Dwarf Fortress is an entire beast. Uh, it's almost a completely different kind of game than this, despite them both being colony sims. Um... And I, I did try very hard to like and or enjoy Dwarf Fortress. I'll come back to it as well. But like, it's it's a almost like the game of life. If you've ever seen that, do a Google search. Search the game of life. I feel like uh, Dwarf Fortress is a simulation of uh, different personalities kind of working together. It's more logistic. It's more logical in some ways. Obviously, there are things that happen in that game that are less logical like they're very deliberate um act like forces of conflict that work against each other but at the same time i do feel like um you are kind of like you know working with uh logic to cultivate uh you know a colony rather than like trying to really work with or handle personalities i don't know I, I haven't played enough dwarf fortress really to fully understand it it's it's a very complicated game and um a lot of it definitely relies on like figuring out stockpiles properly and as much as i have put the work in to make stockpiles work properly in this game i'm actually not a huge fan of like that is a major part of gameplay. I, I appreciate that this game's got other things going on and it's got a bit more of a soap opera thing going on. I think we're finally on top of food. Look, we got 2,000 rice. We really need... Um... Oh, I guess we... <laughs> That hurt to watch, even though it was something, it was the, it was the pure act of something going correctly. <laughs> something was working correctly in front of my eyes, which is generally something I really enjoy watching. But watching a colonist pull a dromedary from out of my animal pen and then kill it, um, it immediately just put me right on edge. Just like put my, got my dander up like immediately. Um, but no that's a good thing uh that basically that means that the system is working we did succeed in taming uh one of the wild dromedaries and um 
And so with excess in our pen, uh, that meant that we could auto slaughter. Actually, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do last time as I'm going to, oh, never mind. Would have been, I should have, I should have just committed. This is fine too. Do you have any steel? They've got some advanced components. They've got a couple of packaged survival meals. They have a reinforced bar They have three reinforced barrels. All right, let's grab some of those. Um, that's a lot of money I'm spending. Cloth a duster. Uh, well, let's just sell. How about we sell all of our clothing? We start with that. Then let's sell some of our extra guns. Probably not a wise decision, but let's do it. Then after that, we'll sell our go juice and some of our drugs. Um, I'm not going to sell our medicine. I will sell some of our cloth because we have a lot of cloth. I could just sell like, let's just sell like 500. Actually, no, let's. I don't know why it's not letting me do this. Oh, I see negative. Um, we'll sell 400 because I, I need cloth for medicine, so it, it is worth keeping. And that means we keep... Uh -huh. Do we really want to do this? What are we buying? We're buying a lot of reinforced barrels. Having reinforced barrels would be good, but I guess I don't need that many. So let's just uh, go with this. I do want to eventually make some mortars. I think they're they're important to have. Uh, what is the range on a mortar? The mortar's inherent inaccuracy makes it more useful for attacking large fortifications than groups of enemies in the field. So... I guess it's like when we want to attack a base. So we will probably eventually want to do that. That would be useful for us to do. I think once we um, get a second person, uh, a second uh, chef, I should say specifically, and we have a second kitchen, then um, I might start stockpiling more packaged survival meals. Because uh, I think at a certain point I do want to think about um, the actual goal of the game. I know that's something that some people just don't consider at all. They, you know, prefer to just... Collection of goodies, huh? Skill trainer artistic. Nice. Oh, difficulty three, huh? I do want... the uh, expires in 12 hours. Okay, well, that's... That's that, because I'm not going to make it in time. Uh, there's no way. I get, I could send, like, one person. What if I sent, like, one person? Ben's got a shock, uh, is missing their shotgun. But what if I sent just Ben and the horse? The route tra travel time is 0 0.3 days, so less than 12 hours. Interesting. Kind of a risky move, to be honest. I don't think I want to do that, because, like, if Ben... If we get really unlucky and Ben gets downed, then he's gone. There's nothing... Like, I would be able to do nothing about it. If I had a second horse, then I could do something like this. Uh, but I don't, so no point in uh, lamenting that. There's more boom rats in this location. I. Wow. Okay. I guess that that uh, the old skeleton just kind of rotted away. Look at the little lambs. They're so cute. They're tiny. Oh, that food just like disappeared instantly. How 
are we doing for meat? We are kind of blowing through our meat supplies. A little bit. It's okay. It's bound to happen. Wonder what we do with the uranium. Um, what do we want to research? Spray fire extinguishing foam. I'm sure that's very useful. I just don't know what or how yet. We need a multi-analyzer in order to continue. Um, so I'm just going to like work through the rest of the tech tree and then hopefully by the time. Yeah, that's fine. Hopefully by the time um, we can only research the next thing, we will have a multi-analyzer. That's very optimistic considering um, I, I don't have any seal right now. And I don't really even have the means to get it. Um, and I don't have any money either, really. I need to put together a caravan, but like to like, sell, to, you know, what are we going to sell? <laughs> We don't have any artwork. We don't really have any clothing. We don't have anything. Tell you what, though, I should turn on um, the smelter again because I just realized we probably have some steel weapons that we could have smelted. We'll see. What is extract tree? While well, keeping it alive so it can be replanted somewhere else. Oh, interesting. Okay, give me one second here. Okay. I'm just trying to think how if we if we ever expand this colony and I it seems like the game doesn't want us to do that I'm not sure what we're going to how we're gonna do that I could put some houses over here there's room over here for expansion we're building a bridge I'm building a bridge over here purely for the enemy um, because cargo pods. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Um, I, I want a convenient means for the enemy to, to get to me. And I would prefer that they travel this way rather than over here and in around because the whole point of these little things is to give me a lot of um time to shoot at them i want like clyde with the sniper rifle to to have a good shot on them like a few times before they get to me get ben his shotgun back he's good at shooting what if we got him let's give uh busta buscalatra a gun. By coded. What? What does that mean? By coded pump shotgun. What does that mean? Mansion design a shotgun that emits a tight packed spray of pellets, deadly but short range. I don't know what it means for something bio coded. Oh, okay. Bio coded smoke. Wow. Okay. So those are uh, actually worthless. Wow. I shouldn't have, sh I, I shouldn't have sold my shotgun. I had some extra weapons and now I don't because I didn't realize that those could not be used. Well, unfortunately for all of us, I've learned a new thing. <laughs> well, um, I 
I should have Galen wear a flak vest. Can he also wear, like, can he also wear the um, flak vest with the outside vest? Yeah, he can. So that's pretty good. He's pretty well protected now. Um, Clyde has flak jacket and flak vest. Not a helmet, though. No helmet. Ben is currently wearing flak jacket, but no flak vest. But he has a plasteel flak helmet. Um, let's have Galen put on the flak pants as well. These are things I'd like to have more of and build more of, but right now I don't have the means. Bacchus is also wearing... Oh, they're wearing elephant leather duster. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, we get some art. How are we doing for steel? Well, apparently, uh, we're, we're not... We don't have any steel. Despite the fact that we got some more steel? From that um, cargo pod? The steel slag chunk should be some. Kind of want to cancel this. Uh, I believe it's Bacchus. I would like her to prioritize refining. I don't know how much steel we're going to get from this. Probably not a lot, but uh, yeah, 15 from that. Yeah, nothing. That would have been nice. Oh, there's more. Oh, they, they haven't collected it all yet. Consume. Disliked food. Interesting. Major break. Bacchus. Okay. Bacchus, take a break. You know what? Um, can't clear prioritize work. It's a dang, dang shame, but you know. So we will have a little bit of steel, probably not 250, but some. I really regret making this thing. Um, yeah, it's not even like improving the area around it. Moisture pump. Converting marshes or shallow water into dry ground and soft sand into normal sand does not affect deep water. Uh, I'm gonna dis deconstruct this. I some I'm sure someone's gonna be annoyed about that, and I don't blame you necessarily. But you have to understand, I don't understand how some of these things work just yet. And I could really use that steel if I could actually make up 250 steel from some stuff, then it would be really worth it. Like actually considering, um, I think I worked it out to being a hundred steel if I broke down both of these. Yeah, they're a hundred each when I build them. So that means I would only get 50 back, but a hundred steel right now is worth its weight in gold. How much are the batteries? 70 steel, so not really worth breaking down the batteries. The problem is <laughs> I still need an advanced component. I'm, I only have one advanced component, which is not enough to build the long range. Uh, but I don't know. Is it? Do I need the long range or do I just need the ground penetrating? Okay, actually, that's fine. So uh, as soon as we have 150, I can make the ground penetrating scanner. Let's see how much we have after we have smelted down all the slag. Probably not a lot. Is there any more over here? I don't know where it was. Oh, she went to go get something? Is it over here? There it is. Eighty, ninety. Okay, so we'll have a bit more than a hundred. That means, 
If I break down the solar panels, that's another hundred. I'm going to do it. And that means I just have to get 50 steel from something. Um, let's look at smelt weapons. I'm going to clear. Okay. I'm going to allow all, um, actually I'm going to clear all allow any quality. Allow bio-coated weapons. There we go. We want to we want to smelt down those bio-coated weapons. Bacchus is going to need a break. Looks like Bacchus and Galen are, are uh, doing some fun stuff. Good for them. Uh, what is Galen doing? Oh, he's getting the rest of those potatoes. There's quite a few potatoes out there. Potatoes last a long time. Potatoes are such a good food. Love them. Love me a potato, you know? Bacchus is, is sleeping. Need some recreation. I'm, I'm very interested. Ooh. Oh, this stuff is unroofed. Okay, Galen's on it. I don't even need to tell him. So where are we at steel-wise? Ooh, 174. Amazing. Have we already done the... Uh, we already did the uh, solar panels. Shoot. I'm really stripping things down. This is like uh, the great escape, honestly. Like they're just like pulling the nuts and bolts out of the beds in order to, to build their underground tunnel. That's, that's what we're doing right now. What are we making from that psychoid? Flake. We're making flake from the psychoid, huh? Uh, we should be storing that in here. Except, does this, uh, this flake need to be refrigerated? I don't think so. So let's turn off flake. Uh, I don't know about go juice. Maybe go juice. Ambrosia. Wake up, yayo. And we turn that stuff on here. Hmm. Okay. We still haven't built this door. Someone needs to build this door. Did Bacchus just, con just consume? Oh no, they're, they're moving stuff. Bacchus is exactly the per the reason I'm building this. Oh god, mad iguanas, huh? Do you... Did I give him a gun? I didn't give him a gun. Oh god. I'm actually going to get Ben to move to the other side. Uh, Bus Buscalatra, run! Oh god, the iguana's faster than him! No! Ah! Okay, good. That's one down. I didn't get Buscalatra gun. That 
That looked so good. Okay, there we go. Wait, is there another one? Galen. Run. You guys are awful shots, despite doing this for ages. Okay, um, finish off Iguana. Alright, undraft, you guys are good. Uh, Buscalatra is not, like, in horrible straits. God, we're gonna make iguana meat. That's a lot of iguana. Missing body parts. Combat supplier from Lonlier, huh? Could stand to buy an extra gun. Gonna, I'm just gonna tell Ben to eat some food and uh, butcher some animals. What is he doing? That's such a weird roundabout way of doing things. We are at 250 steel. We are at 250 steel. Um, so this person has medicine. EMP sh shells. I should uh, give the skill trainer a shooter to someone. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So we could buy an incendiary launcher from them. I kind of want this pump shotgun. And this flak vest. Oh god, they have a recon helmet. Recon armor. Oh my god. Let's just do this for now. Buy ourselves a pump shotgun. Can we buy two? No. Sure, we'll sell the marble club. Okay. Um, sure, accept that. Lonlier might not be super friendly with us forever. Because uh, they're, they're, they're hostile by nature. Um, okay, so we need to build a pod launcher no not a pod launcher i just saw that didn't realize we were at that point we need a ground penetrating scanner i don't know search for buried resources the chances to find a resource depends on the operator's research ability it consumes a lot of electricity if you find a buried resource you'll have, need to use deep drills to extract it it doesn't work under a roof okay um it doesn't work under a roof okay Let's put it somewhere uh, out of the way. I kind of wish they would. Mm. Yeah, let's build it like right here. I don't know. That's in the corner of the world. I don't know how this thing works just yet. It looks like uh, it needs someone to actually sit down at it. Where's a good spot for it? I guess let's just do like right here.
I always make that mistake. Cool. Okay, so that's the first step. Then we'll see how much steel is actually in the area. Wow. Fifty percent of this rabbit is gone, but hey, it's still half a free rabbit. Remember when I said I was going to build um, an extra building for like research and stuff? Like, damn, that 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 never happened, did it? Also, these uh, door doors really ought to happen. Stash of supplies. Recurve bow and a telescope, huh? Doing amateur astronomy. It's a relaxing hobby for a certain kind of person. Can only be used outdoors. It might be worth grabbing. Where is that? That's not that far away. We could we could do a journey for that. I do want to get this done first though. Cuz this is actually like really exciting. Um this could very well mean we're we're finally no longer uh capped. Although, um, we're still going to need advanced components, so there is that, but at least we can do things like build a second kitchen without, like, being in such dire straits. Please don't botch this also. This construction is at almost, like, 8.5 is not bad. We have a group of... Oh, just a group. They don't have any trades. Cargo pods. Wow. Chicken eggs, huh? Well, that's interesting. This storage uh, area certainly was helpful. What do you mean, mad rat? Stop it. Stop it with the events. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that this turret would just do that job for me. That's the other thing, is if I can get some more steel, I'll build some more auto turrets. And then, uh, and then you know, well, I, I actually get, like, getting attacked might not be the end of the world for us. Ben's watching some TV. What is on the TV, by the way? Like, I know this is an alien world and we're like, you know, colonists and stuff like, who's uh, broadcasting television? Bus Galatra, please do not botch this. Do not botch this, please. I swear to, I swear on me Tims, do not botch, thank you. Did not botch. This thing is going to need 700 watts. Dang, kind of regretting uh, disassembling. Wow, we have a hundred steel left. Oh right, we still need to build the actual deep drill. That hundred, that the hundred steel is there by design. <laughs> so now, um, prioritize scanning, please, Clyde. I know. Uh, wait, what? Did he do it? Progress to guaranteed find. Oh, I see. Okay, donkey's doing it. That's fine. 
well donkey sort of doing it uh another raid what multiple angles oh my god So three over there. They're just melee though. Two over here. They are also just melee. Uh, it's a dang shame that those traders left. Uh, is there more somewhere else that I'm missing? Uh, we might just get away with only having one. No, these guys are going to come in from some angle, and I don't know which. I'm hoping the north side. So I'm going to send Galen on the north side, um, hoping that the auto turret will take care of some of them. What would be really bad is if... Um, God, I never gave blood... Uh... Oh, there's a shotgun right there. Damn it. I looked so many times for a shotgun and I couldn't find one. Oh god, damage. Get out of there. Nice! Damage walked them right into the trap. Um, What's your bio? Great at shooting and melee. What's uh, Lavego's bio? Good at melee cooking and crafting. Not bad. Capture Lavego. Ben, chase down that guy. These guys are still um, on their way, by the way. So maybe we prioritize getting uh, set up over here. nice oh this really worked out perfectly so uh this person is dead this person is dead this person bexada hedgehog bleeding out in five hours what's their bio good at cooking social and intellectual um having a third cook is kind of tempting hard worker too smart Global learning factor plus 75%. Mental makedown threshold plus 12%. He learns everything much faster than anyone, but can be quite eccentric. They're also a hard worker. I think this person is worth... Um, is worth it. Please uh, tend to them, Galen. Clyde is uh, putting this person away. Clyde, can you tend to them? Actually, yeah. Uh, um, oh, I'm just going to undraft Ben for now. Lavego, okay, Ben, can you prioritize tending to Lavego? And I'm just going to undraft Clyde. They've got six hours. They should be okay. Galen is tending to Bexada. Bexada? They have six hours. Uh, Galen, can you capture them? They've got six hours. It's not looking good for them, to be honest. I'm on, I've, I'm on a, a times to, uh, times one right now. Because uh, things are pretty tentative. These guys are really worth saving. Actually, I didn't check LaVego's other... Yeah, they're undergrounder. 
which is fine actually that's quite good they also have good medical like this guy is a really good colonist they only have 12 resistance also this person over here i'm concerned for Actually, I'm just going to undraft him and then uh, I'm just going to undraft Galen. I don't know if anyone else can tend to them. It's it's so weird to me when it says it can tend and when not. Okay, Ben is done with Lavego. Um, prioritize tending. So they've got five hours left, but five hours disappears like in a blink of an eye. So uh, let's see. We're, okay, Ben is getting medicine. This is good. We are blowing through our medicine, but that's fine. We'll make more, especially if we have more colonists. That means we can actually have people dedicated to making medicine, um, you know. Clyde's already working on Lavego. I think it's looking good. Two more colonists to our, our roster. Um, it'd be good if uh, one of them was uh, good at shooting. But that's okay. Let's just set this to... Uh, wow. They are at resistance 7. Okay, well, that's uh, that was a pretty unhappy nudity. I mean, that makes sense. Wait, Ben. Why is Ben naked? Put on a shirt. How long has that been the case? I want you to wear pants. How long is it? How long has he not had pants and been unhappy about it? Bus, uh, Bustalatra, Buscalatra, you are going to wear a flak jacket. Since you're going to be one of my uh, elite soldiers, you are now one of my elite employees. Uh, also, you're going to use the skill trainer to learn shooting. Level 10. Good lord, that was nice. We now have another, uh, like, person for security. Like, they, they are actually going to be viable. Um, something that's been bugging me. Wow, so this is, is this just a, uh... I'm going to see what happens when I do this. Because there seems to be some, like, weird artifacts here, and there's, like, roofs and stuff that I don't... I'm not a huge fan of. Disease infection. Lavego. I'm sure Ben will take care of it. They are taking care of it. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. Who else? Bexeta. Uh, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.